Okay, I'm going to do one last set of these. Um, the last one on last couple on this page, you can do um, 3C. You should be able to do that one as a classwork. Um, and then I'll show the answers and stuff too. Um, but you can try any of these as a classwork if you want to. This one's a little trickier though because we are going to have holes in all of these. So k of x equals x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 2x. So we're going to factor these out and we're going to have x plus 2, x minus 2 over x times x minus 2. So right there you can see we have whoops, a whole if we look at those two, right? So if we simplify that down, we would end up with x plus 2 over x, which is what we're going to plug our um, value in to find what the corresponding y is. Okay, we also want to use the simplified version of k of x to find our zeros and our vertical asymptote. We do not want to label the um, hole as an asymptote. So we're going to just mark here that we'll have a hole at x equals 2. And then if we plug that in, we're going to get the y. So I'll do that in a separate step. So here we have our zeros. Or in this case, it's just a zero, right? So 0 at the point negative 2, 0. All right, we're setting the numerator equal to 0. We have vertical asymptote at, remember that's always going to be a line, x equals 0. Then we're going to look at the whole at the point. 2, and then we have to figure this out, right? So we're going to do um, plug into the simplified version. Because if we put it back in here, we're just, you know, if we plugged the 2 in here, we're always going to get an undefined. We'll get our 0 over 0, right? So we don't want to have that. So we need to plug into our simplified version here, okay? here and here. So we're going to get uh, 2 plus 2 over 2, 4 over 2, which is 2. So that's kind of nice. So that's going to be our hole and we'll put an open circle there. Then the next thing we want to look at is our horizontal or slant asymptote. Um, and we have to think about what our powers are. So we have the same power. Um, we have coefficient of 1 then. So that's always going to be a y equals thing. So we would have y equals 1. Okay. So I'm going to mark these a little more clearly for you. And again, this is our local. And this time we did have all three. This is our global where we would only have one. We're not going to have more than one horizontal asymptote, just one. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and pop all our data that we just found into here. So we're going to um, track that zero. We will put it in at negative two. It's a bad color. <laughs> um, let me use this bright color again. So negative 2, 0. It's to be sitting right on there. Then vertical asymptote. Again, it's going to be um, at x equals 0. Okay, so this is the a x equals 0. We have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. Okay, then we have to 
um, look at the rest. We have to plot our hole in there. Um, so let's see, the hole is 2, 2. It's right there. So I know I'm going to have a piece over in this area and a piece over in this area. Um, so I am having them, when I break them down, I just have like the first power there. So that's why I'm, it's acting that way. So I'm going to go approach this, go through the hole, approach my asymptote. Okay. Then I know I'm going to have to be in this quadrant and I know I want to be in the other direction. Oops. Opposite directions, right? Because they'll act like that parent. Um, and that is really it. I just have to throw some labels in here that my hole is 2, 2. Make sure you have an open circle there. And then I also have negative 2, 0 as 0. That's closed circle. And then I already labeled my asymptote, so I'm good on that one. The next one here is going to be a little trickier. We have to factor more um, and it has some different power things going on. So let's take a look at that. Um, first step would be to go ahead and factor the numerator and factor the denominator. This is a perfect square trinomial. So I would have x plus 1 times x plus 1 or x plus 1 squared and I'm going to write it like that so that I can catch that I have multiplicity 2 and then I'm going to bounce. Then down the bottom I can factor out 2x squared. I'm going to do, you know, just kind of jot down 2x squared times x squared plus 2x minus 3 is what's left. Then I can factor those pieces into x um, plus 3x minus 1. And those have multiplicity 1. So this first um, factor here though that I pulled out 2x squared. So that means that on that asymptote, it's going to act like opposite directions. Um, sorry, not opposite, um, the same direction, like the um, 1 over x squared. So we need to keep that in mind and how that um, is all going to kind of work out. Uh, we also kind of need to think about these, the multiplicity here as well. So getting that checkpoint might really be helpful for you. So if you want to pause the video and see if you can find your zeros, find your um, holes if there are any, and vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote. So take a look at that. Uh, right away I can see actually that there's not going to be a hole because there's no matches. I thought there was going to be on this one, but um, it just has some other intricacies to work with. So go ahead and, and do your um, pieces. Okay, so I figured out zeros, negative one, zero, just set that equal to zero. Um, then we have vertical asymptotes. We have quite a few here. We have x equals zero. We have x equals negative three, and we have x equals one. So have three there. So that's kind of an interesting different situation. Then holes, we don't have any of those, so right, none. And horizontal or slant, well look at the powers. The powers are actually um, the numerator is smaller than the denominator, so I have a horizontal add asymptote at y equals 0. Can we write that as a line, as an equation, not a point? Um, that's our global behavior. So then we can just go ahead and start to plot this stuff out. So I'm going to set all the asymptotes in and the um, 0 in there as well. And then while you're working on that, just pause the video and try it also. Okay, so I have everything laid out on the graph now, and then we're going to have to think about like how this 
is going to pan out. So we have um, multiplicity of 2 on the um, the um, 0. So we know that's going to be a bounce. But which direction does it go is kind of the question too. Um, we also know that we can um, look at this glo global behavior here, the 2x squared, and that we're going to have a situation that looks like the 1 over x squared parent. So I'm going to go ahead and plot those in. So we would have direction going this way and this way. Okay, in those sections there. Um, this one we could just figure out what it's going to be like by figuring out a point that we're going to um, plug in a value to know the direction of. But we also know that um, we can't cross any of those. So. And we also have to think about at x, the vertical asymptote, this helps us out a lot here, x plus 3 um, has multiplicity of 1, so vertical asymptote of x at negative 3 there should have opposite directions on these, okay, where this is same direction. Then again, we're going to have opposite direction. We know we can't have a zero. So I'm just going to squeeze it in here. It's a little parabola. Again, that is where maybe I would do a checkpoint, but I, I know that I have to have um, up against the zero. I have to have same direction, but up against the x minus one, I have to have opposite direction. And so that's a little tricky sometimes, especially when you're first learning it. It's it's hard to know. So you can just do a checkpoint, just pick any value in there, like pick a half and see where that sits. Okay, this is not to scale. I'm not worrying about that. It's just a sketch. So I hope that helps you kind of figure out the lay of the land with these. Okay, so here's the problem that I want you to try as classwork. Um, negative 2x squared plus 2x plus 12, all divided by x squared minus 2x minus 3. So remember the key things. You're going to factor it. You're going to check for um, and then simplify. As you're doing that, you'll notice if there's a hole or not. And then also you want to mark um, what your zero is, your hole as a point. Those are as points. Vertical asymptotes are when um, the denominator is going to equal zero. And horizontal asymptote is looking at the powers of the numerator and denominator and comparing them. Okay, so try all those steps and I will write it out and then you can check your answer and the graph. Okay, so here's the completed classwork answer. So we have this um, function that we're going to factor out everything. Now we have a hole here because we have a like factor here with x minus 3 over x minus 3. So we do simplify that out and stream, streamline here to give us negative 2 times x plus 2 all over x plus 1. But we need to track where that hole is. It's going to be where x is 3 would make a 0 over 0 situation. But we can't plug back into that to find our corresponding y. Remember, the hole is not a line like an asymptote. It You do not write it down here as asymptote. That would be um, no, no holes go there. So uh, write it as a point. Okay, so we have to plug the 3 into the simplified version, I did that over here. If you want to take a quick look at my math, I get negative 5, 2. So again, zeros are written as points, holes are written as points. Um, when our numerator is set equal to 0, we get x equals negative 1. That's an asymptote. Asymptotes are always written as lines. 
there'll always be x equals something for the vertical. Horizontal asymptotes are always y equals a number. In this case, we have negative 2. So I, I plotted all that stuff here. Um, you can see my graph. Make sure you label everything, including the asymptotes, if you want full credit on your graphs. Okay, um, and again, you can check your answers in Desmos, but do make sure that you know how to do this out by hand, especially if you were in a proctored situation sitting doing a paper test. You want to make sure you're, you're prepared for that for your next class. So have a great day, and I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have questions.